Merry Christmas from Hirschberger's Miracle Homestead. Howdy folks and welcome to the kitchen action at Hirschberger's Miracle Homestead. I am Martha and we are still in December so we are sticking to the theme of food and so far it's been in the dessert line or cookie line and so today we're shifting gears and I'm doing a ham. So I will pull you in and we'll go across the ingredients and get started. Brown sugar, crushed pineapple, and we use it with 100% of its own juice, and the ham. And this one here is a Smithfield fully cooked ham. And it comes in at 11 pounds. I'm going to prepare a oven bag to put the ham in. Now you can get spiral hams that have slices down in them. This is not. You'll want to cut down through the meat. So when you pour the brown sugar and pineapple mixture over it, that the juices of that can get right down into it. After you have the slits cut in the ham, you place it into the bag. We're done with the ham momentarily. The next step is to put the crushed pineapple in the kettle. Add the brown sugar. You heat this until the brown sugar is dissolved. Alrighty folks, that's looking good. Okay, the brown sugar pineapple combo has been removed from the heat and I doubled the bag over so if a little bit drops and gets on here at least it'll be on the inside then when you're ready to fold it up and so just pour this over the ham letting it get down into the cracks as well. Okay, then pick up the bag. And with the oven bags comes your twisty. So you just twist that close. Put the twisty on. So here we have the ham tucked away in the oven bag and I have a piece of heavy duty foil. I'm going to cover the whole thing. Here we have the ham ready for the oven. A preheated oven at 225 for three hours and that should get the ham hot through and through. Okay, we are back and the ham is out of the oven. We had three hours of anticipation here and for you all it was just like a second or two. The ham is out of the oven. We are ready to unveil it and see what it looks like. Oh yes. Take the twisty off. Open the bag. There's a lot of juices on the bottom there. See how the slices just came apart? The pineapple's on top of it. So, I will get some out and put it on the platter. Okay, folks, here we have a platter full of ham. We hope if you all make this that you enjoy it as much as we do. And we invite you to stay tuned for the golden thought. Thank you for joining me. Our brother Buddy was brain damaged at birth. He's epileptic and nonverbal. He's always been a very special part of our family. We included him in the Golden Thought as a way of encouraging anyone who has a special needs person in their life. Welcome to the Golden Thought of this episode. I am Dorothy and I'm here with the twins, Martha 
and Marvin, better known as Buddy. And when you watch this, it will be a Christmas Eve day, and we hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you will have a lovely day tomorrow too on Christmas Day. You can find the meaning of Christmas in John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is awesome. A love story that is beyond comprehension, actually. And we want to honor Jesus on the day that we celebrate as his birthday, a day of remembering what he has done for us. And with that, I'll turn it over to Martha. And thinking of what we can do for God, for Jesus, because of he giving of his very best for us, I was reminded of a poem I learned when I was in grade school and a part of a Christmas program. And for some reason, this poem has stuck in my brain ever since. What can I give him? What can I give him as poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd bring him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. What can I give him? I'll give him my heart. And that's the greatest thing we can do. And thanks to God for giving of his very best for us in his son Jesus. And I was so touched when I found out my eight-year-old great-niece, her prayer request in school was that everybody would talk to Jesus on his birthday. That's awesome. It is. And just take a moment to reflect and talk to Jesus, thanking him for his faithfulness and goodness. With that, we'll bring this episode to a close. God bless. Merry Christmas, Christmas from Hirschberger's Miracle Homestead. Homestead. You tell him Merry Christmas too, bud. You shake my hand. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> <More time. laughs>